apply today. The mullet, a hairstyle that was around in other decades, but most popular in the 1980s. Business in the front, party in the back. Adam, do you remember the mullet? I remember my cousins and some of my friends having mullets when I was very young. Uh, I've never had one myself. I thought they looked kind of silly. My opinion has not really changed of them. I know they kind of uh, made a comeback when I was in high school. Some people grew them out, like, ironically, to be funny. Uh, I don't think I'd ever grow on myself. I, th- I just think they really look kind of stupid. And Scott, do you remember the mullet? Uh, of course I remember this hairstyle, and I had one myself. They weren't known as the mullet to us at that time or any other name. They were just kind of the hairstyle that most people had. We knew it as hockey hair, maybe at that time or later on, and remember it as most hockey players had it, and uh, most of my hockey team had that hairstyle. Not everybody, but I had it. Quite a few other guys on my team had it. So yeah, I remember the mullet. What are some of the reasons you think the mullet faded away? Uh, Let's be real. I think it's an ugly haircut for men. Uh, Even guys who try to grow one out ironically, it just kind of looks stupid. You know, business in the front, party in the back. No, business in the front and back or party in the front and back. Can't have it both ways. That's why I think the mullet faded away. How about you? Uh, I think it died off with, you know, when long hair for guys kind of in general died off and like the metal years died away or hair metal died and grunge came in in the 1990s. You didn't see too much of the mullet around after that. Shorter hair became more manageable. It kind of gave you the older look and a cleaner look. Shorter hair was easier in the end to wear under helmets actually in hockey. So it was a kind of killed the hockey hair thing it was just kind of a nuisance at the end of the day when long hair died with guys the mullet or hockey hair died with it so do you think the mullet can make a comeback today no i don't think so i think that the mullet is dead and i don't want it to be revived to be frank how about you do you think that the mullet could fly today uh no i think It won't become common and popular again today because it's just got this negative stereotype to it. It has a stereotype of, you know, it makes you kind of look less intelligent or even on the poorer class, like trailer trash and kind of dirty, like movies like, uh, was it Joe Dirt? Joe Dirt, yeah. Kind of trailer trashy is associated with the hockey hair or the mullet now. So because of that, I just don't see it becoming popular or something you'd want to have. I would like to see it make a comeback, and I would grow a mullet again if I could, but no, it wouldn't fly today. Also, give us your feedback on the mullet in the comments below. You can also share us your memories of mullets on our social media at 10 Years Apart Pod or on our website at 10yearsapart.com. The mullet. Did you have one? Would they fly today? No. <laughs> Thanks for watching that clip, and if you like what you saw, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Leave us your comments below and check out more at 10yearsapart.com. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. You can find the full episode of that podcast this clip was from, plus other videos from us right here. Thanks again.